Okay, here we have my Kawasaki Classic Vulcan 1500 that's for sale. Um, unfortunately, it's raining outside here in Taranaki, so I've just washed it, dried it down, and I'll do the walk around inside my messy shed, and we'll take it outside and do a sound check, start it up from cold, and here we'll go from there. But um, this is the beast. Around, I'll try to find all the little imperfections that is on it. Now, the tank you probably can't see it under this light, but there's just some little swirl marks obviously from when you get on and off the bike that minuscule that you can hardly see it anyway. Um, all the chrome finish that rubber has obviously been off and glued back on once upon a time. Chrome's been dried, I haven't polished it. And fuel cap. Switch blocks have got a bit of um, you know how aluminium goes. All the chrome's good. Running boards. Uh, and behind here we have a KN air filter. Now uh, you can actually see that's still quite damp like I say I haven't polished it up yet I've tried drying it down but it's quite humid and wet here so but the paint works good uh, like I said running boards still a bit wet in there from washing it uh, in behind here we get the key there's a little Oxford I should have pulled it off before but there's a little Oxford toolkit everything that, you, everything that you sort of need on the road it just pushes in on those rubber grommets like To go into that little hole there. There's a little grommet here that pushes into there. And it's a challenge one handed of course. We'll get it. And we should get it. Now I'll just put you down. There we go, you may have heard it just go click, so lock that again, can't come off. Uh, final drive, no leaks or anything, looks good, the white walls, good new tyres, shocks, no leaking shocks, I hope the light's good. Saddlebags, they're obviously a little bit old, but they do the trick. Come around to the front. Chrome headlight. Obviously, some weathered markings on the wing mirror. Same on the other side, I think. Just a little bit there. Come down. There's a tiny little dent in this here in the chrome work there. But, uh, Try to get it so you can probably see it there. Real small dent. They come down, guards in good condition. <clears throat> White wall cleaned up real nice on this side. Uh, that side's obviously got the brake on it. So not as good, I guess. A little bit of paint rub there from, from the speedo cable. Just rubbed a little bit there. Crash frame, all good. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of just rust coming through the chrome plate there. Where the welds are, where they always seem to go. Uh, new radiator, 
guard, new radiator. Have a look in there. New fan. New water pump. Now it had all new gaskets put through it. Uh, here's a tank on this side. All good. And now with these here to check the oil, the chrome on there is really good. Um, they're right up. It's on the side stand, but you got to you, you check them. Where is it? It's horrible to find. It's tucked right up in in there. You're not going to see it on the camera, but they're really horrible. Horrible to get to for these. There it is. That's the hole. You got to look through there. Here we go. I'll just zoom in on that. Uh, you check it. Obviously, it's not going to focus. There we go. But you check that there when it's level. And that gives you your oil level. A uh, little bit of paint come off here, which I would suggest why all the water system was done. It looks like probably coolant's taken out that bit of paint. But as you can see, the gaskets, there's no reason to not believe that the gaskets weren't done. They all look pretty good. The, the exhaust that's been made up sounds really good not too loud this is your um, where you top up the water if it's ever low you check it check it there can't see it through this camera but water, water fluid's good swing arm's good Passenger peg, other shock. And the chrome's good, those little spots are um, water spots. So, this bag here. They do the trick to make it look quite good. Uh, the bluing on the Muffler you can't get away from in stainless steel. Obviously there's a baffle about there and it disperses the heat. Brakes are good. Light wall. And come around to the back. And the guards and the brakes. Looking at the brakes there. Um, and there's a little mark in the paint right there, which I don't know. Don't know what it is. Like I say, the chrome hasn't yet been polished because it's still damp. I want to get this video done before the day runs out. Eight minutes long video. Oh. And so, yeah. So there's the Vulcan there. Just started raining outside again, but I'll wheel it out, set the phone up on a stand, and we'll do a sound sound check. Put it from behind, and when it's out there, you'll see it from in the front. So just let me go get set up, and uh, we'll do a sound check. Okay, so now we'll go do a sound check, start it up. It's been parked up since Friday. It's now Sunday afternoon, so we'll have to start it with a choke. But I did forget to mention that it comes with a Gabby screen, so I'll just hold that up in place. I will fit it, uh, just so you've got an idea of what it looks like. But let's go start it.
So hopefully that uh, gave you a good representation of the sound. Don't mind the steam coming off the exhaust, that's only because it was wet. Um, but yeah, perfect bike, nice to ride, handles really well, tyres, probably a thousand k's done on them, if that, or maybe a little bit more. Chrome's good, awesome tour up, single, whatever, nimble, seems like a big bike but once you ride in it it's quite nimble. The sound may have echoed, being where it is, so I'm not sure that you get an idea of what it would sound like. It's not deafening, it's not, when you're riding it you can hardly hear it, um, but it just has that nice deep rumble. So yeah, that's my Vulcan, classic 1500. Hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching.